In this Power World video, I bring you five must get of the best early to mid game powers. These consist of OP powers to amazing base workers and everything in between. But before we go any further people to celebrate the amazing release of this game i am giving a few lucky players a chance to win this game whether you play on steam or xbox i will purchase the game for you on steam or even six months of game pass uh, to win this for yourself or even a friend who doesn't have the game Drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and make sure you are subbed with notifications turned on. The more of my videos you watch and support, the more of a chance you have of winning. I will pick and announce winners in a couple of days. So within my adventures across the vast open world Power World offers, I've come across some amazing powers I feel you need to know about. Some of these you can get relatively early on, others are towards that mid to end game. So let's go. Okay, so first up people, we have the Ragnarok, an incredible, flying mount so this bird is probably right now my favorite mount in the game in regards to getting around the map this thing uh i know isn't the fastest mount in the game that's that is owned by the level 50 world boss of jet dragon which is an absolute monster but until then guys birds like the ragnarok will do just fine because they are truly rapid so this bird is located right here on the map. Now, every time I come by here, they always pop up for me. I'd say probably within the day, though, as I've been around here, around this area at night, and I haven't seen them, but I could be wrong. But definitely within the daytime, they should appear here for you. Now, according to the power deck, the bottom left area is the only place these are found. Uh, so, yeah. Now, in regards to battling with these things, I find them way more effective when not mounted, as their moves normally consist of you being stuck in a certain hovering spot, for a few seconds while the uh, bird initiates its attack which can sometimes be your downfall when fighting something stronger and not being able to get out of the way. Now in regards to work suitability they have a level 3 that kindling which means that they will roast that metal faster and they also have a level 3 transporting too. So to craft this dude's saddle you need to be a level 38 upon you capturing this bird and materials needed are 25 leather 15 cloth 20 ingots 20 flame organs and 25 powdium fragments so yeah first on my list is my current flyer the amazing ragnar hawk next up guys you have the reptile i believe that's pronounced which i won't lie to you i discovered this thing by accident as it was nighttime game was dark as heck and i so kind of like a flame, I flew towards it thinking it was a fast travel point I hadn't unlocked. I then realised upon me getting closer that it was indeed a pal, a beast at that. So the location of where these can be found is on screen now. I believe both day and night they will be here. You can see the location of where I found mine and also where these are found uh, thanks to the power deck and where that states. And it is more or less the same area as the Ragnar Hawk. So this fire ground type pal is 100% handier as a base pal although he isn't shy in a fight he's pretty slow which is fine as he does hit hard uh, so you gotta give some to take some i guess but for me after being on a much faster ground mount you can do equally as much damage which i'll showcase you guys at the end of the video i mean maybe you could set up around him but don't really rely on him as a decent mount who will get you around quick so in regards to his work suitability he has a level three in both mining and kindling so this dude alone or a couple of these dudes will plow through a bunch of ore rocks and then cook them into that metal with no time at all and to be honest that's kind of what i use this dude for now to unlock this dude's saddle you need to be a level 32 upon you capturing it and to craft it it requires 20 leather 20 ingots 20 flame organs and 20 powder fragments but again this dude is a great base power the saddle isn't really needed unless you manually mine that aura and you will get a buff in doing this so keep that in mind so next up guys you have one of the faster grand mounts in the game it's called the power nut so this mythical looking beast horse kind of thing is quite unique with offering both fire and dark abilities now I don't use it for its work suitabilities, but more so as a fast moving awesome battle speed stack. And although it offers a level 2 in that kindling and a level 1 that lumbering, there's way better out there than this, so it's not this power's purpose. Its purpose in my opinion is to fight and it does that just great. What it's also amazing at doing guys is just running and charging the smaller animals to tame their loot. I mean, I love it for this. I mean, just running circles and the way it can control this thing is where it's like a flight, just darts in different directions, which is great. 
It's also amazing at fighting those bigger dudes too. In fact, it was thanks to this pal I was able to defeat and actually capture the Mammoth World Boss where this single-handedly did all the damage while I stood there chucking balls at it. It also while mounted applies dark damage to your attacks too. So this pal is located strictly at night within this location seen on screen now, both where I found it and where that pal deck states they are. Now to mount this thing you need to create its saddle which will unlock at around level 33 upon capturing this and it requires you to have 30 leather, 36 fibre, 24 flame organs, 18 ingots and 30 pallidium fragments. But yeah guys, uh, you won't find a much better mount early to mid game than this so yeah get out there and go get this thing. Next up guys we have the Robin Quill. So this is probably one for the earlier players of the game and while I've added it to this list because I feel early on, actually for something you can actually get early on, uh, what this offers in regards to base work suitability, there isn't much else at this level which can do what this does. So this grass type power, although it looks like some kind of veggie superhero, is actually capable of superhuman things when it comes to your base. So this one offers the following traits in that work suitability. It's got a level 1 in planting, a level 2 in handiwork, a level 1 in lumbering, a level 1 in medicine production, a level 2 in transporting and a level 2 in gathering. For me at least when I saw this I was super surprised at it as it allows you to free up so many base pal slots as this fella can do it all. So even capturing a few of these guys may be worth your time. Now in regards to combat it isn't too bad either but it does fall a little short in regards to you uh, not being able to mount this thing or it offering any other purpose in battle like a blueprint it unlocks like many of the other battlers in the game. Uh, so yeah in my opinion this is definitely one for that work suitability and working on your base. Okay, so lastly guys, we have the Kitson, and yes, this is the case of me saving the best until last. So the Kitson is my favourite ground mount in the game. It's fast and oh man, it hits super hard. And this is why I've listed it here. This thing is all for that combat. Whether mounted or not, it gets it sorted. With its work suitability, it offers a level 2 in kindling, but that's about it guys. So yeah, this isn't one for the base, it's one for you to actually mount. So upon you on this dude's back you are unaffected by the cold and heat which is also amazing as some of the areas you may want to explore earlier on without the correct armour you can die from. This voids that which is cool. Now this power can be located right here on the map and as you can see it's literally from one part of the entire map too. I will also add it's very cold up in this area so you may want to wrap up warm your life counts on it. So if you are lucky enough to get one of these uh, its saddle becomes available at level 30 and requires 25 leather, 10 colour, 15 flame organs and 20 palladium fragments. So yes guys, not only does this thing look incredible, like a mythical war dog, uh, the Kitson is one of the best grand mounts in this game without a shadow of a doubt. It's fast, super good in battle, does what it needs to do, so go out and get this thing guys. And there we have it, 5 early to mid game amazing pals you do not want to miss guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more power world be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one